Live from our studios, here's Property TV. I'm Ian Thomason from Thomason Property at Clayfield and I'd like to welcome you to our first Property TV session. With me today I have Gavin McGuinness from Yellow Brick Road and uh, we'll be talking with Gav Gavin shortly about uh, what's happening in the financial uh, world. But in the meantime I'd like to take you to Kevin Turner for this month's property update. Thank you. Well, I'm pleased to say that the median house price and sales numbers held up very well in the months leading up to December. This, of course, was despite the fact that we had six almost consecutive rate increases. We also had a federal election and then we had that period that followed. Our agents are reporting fairly tough market conditions. This is due mainly to the fact that we have a lack of committed buyers, which really means that sellers are having to meet the market. Now, those in the industry are still very confident about Queensland's future going forward, largely due to the fact that we have a continual ongoing population growth, massive investment in infrastructure and, of course, the benefits that are flowing from the multi-billion dollar resource industry. Despite the fact that it's a softer market, I believe that Queensland's very well poised to come through this quite well. So what that underlines for me is the fact that there are still some very good buying conditions for buyers and sellers, provided you do it in the same market. In summary, all's good in the Sunshine State. Well, thanks for that, Kevin. That was great. Now I'd like to take you to Gavin McGuinness. And uh, Gavin, I'd like you to tell us about your involvement with Yellow Brick Road and how that came about through the Australian Apprentice. Well, that's right, Ian. Shortly after finishing my time on The Apprentice, I had the, the option and the opportunity to join Mark Burris and, and his team, the Yellow Big Road team, and uh, I grabbed it with both hands. I always wanted to be involved with Australian business people of that calibre and um, you know, rubbing shoulders with them, being involved in a business such as Yellow Brick Road was something I couldn't pass up, so I've been thoroughly enjoying it ever since. Yeah. Well, Gavin, you started, uh, you started that business in, uh, in Brisbane, and that's uh, several months ago now. There's been quite a few changes uh, since uh, you took that on. Uh, there's been interest rate rises, there's been uh, the reduction of the uh, first home buyers grant. Uh, what, uh, what do you see is going to happen and what's probably had the biggest impact on your business to date? No, you're very, very right. There's been a lot of developments in the finance industry, in the mortgage industry and uh, in the property industry over the last year. It's been a, been a crazy time. But um, we opened the door in the Brisbane office in, in April and since then there's been a lot of developments. One of the big changes, of course, recently was the removal or the eradication of the first home buyers grant that really helped those first home buyers to get in onto the property ladder. Now, I really have found that in my business and in finance industry as a whole, there's less, less first home buyers around because they just haven't had the ability to, to jump into the property market. So at Yellowbrook Road, we're actually helping those types of buyers out at the moment, specifically with a, a unique product. Well, what's, what's that? How are, you, how are you doing that and, and how are you getting that out to the people and how does it help? Well, the thing is, the first home buyers grant obviously helped those first home buyers to get their deposit together. It's difficult to save a deposit for anybody these days. We understand that. Now, a lot of the big banks, the, the big four, and, and many other lenders require genuine savings. So recognising the necessity in the marketplace to help first home buyers out and many other buyers in the market, Yellowbrick Road came up with the first step home loan. Now, this is unique in the marketplace. It doesn't take away the need for a deposit. Mm -hmm. However, it does allow home, first home buyers to not show genuine savings. There's no necessity for a track record of genuine savings or a history of that. So it really can help them jump into the marketplace. So you're saying that if a parent wants to assess, uh, assist their kids or um, they get something left to them in a will where before it hasn't been appropriate or the banks haven't recognised it, now that can be used uh, to help them get, as you say, go and buy property? That's exactly right. If the parents want to give some money to their, their kids, they want to leave it in a will, if they win the lotto, even if even a tax refund from the ATO will we'll accept that as the initial deposit and of course then general servicing history and servicing ability is, um, is, is required. Well thanks for that Gavin, I found that information uh, very interesting and it's actually I've learned something this morning which is, uh, which is good. You're welcome. So uh, if you'd like to uh, find out more about that you can either contact me or alternatively get in touch with Gavin at Yellow Brick Road. But in the meantime we'd like to take you to this month's feature property. One of Brisbane's most sought after addresses, 22 Twig Street in Drapilli, is situated on prime Brisbane riverfront. Featuring a private and secure entrance, hides the delights that this executive home has to offer. Walk up the pathway through the tropical gardens and feel welcomed by a large entranceway flooded with light from the glass walls surrounding the private in-ground pool. 
East facing to the riverfront means you will have those desired river breezes whilst enjoying the world as it floats by from your deck. So I hope you found that property uh, very interesting. It's uh, rare to find a property on the river uh, in Brisbane that has so much to offer as that. So in the meantime, if you'd like any information on that, please don't hesitate to uh, contact us. Uh, and I look forward to catching up with you again next month.